Well, you might be surprised to find out that I've not been using Ubuntu as my main operating system. This here is Solid K. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Quid's changing operating system. Oh, there's a new one, isn't it? I've been running with Ubuntu 13.04 for pretty much since when it was released, and it's now so old, I, I've had to do something about it. My plan was to jump to Ubuntu 14.04, but my recent attempt on that proves that it's just not quite ready. I've been playing around a bit more now, and I will make the jump again in a couple of weeks. But look here, I've customised KDE to where it almost looks like Unity, because that's the style of operating system I quite like. I do think Unity is a good way of working. It suits me. I'm not going to press it upon anyone else to use it, but I like it, and that's what's key to me. So to make KDE look like this has been quite an achievement really. You can see here I've got the home run launcher, quite nice. In fact, I think in some ways this is better than Unity here. We've got just a short favourite of applications and then you can go across into the applications themselves and you can just drill down from there. Yeah, okay, it's different. Then files, it's not as convenient as Unity. Then there's an added bonus here, you've got power. So that's quite good. Uh, one little annoyance there, you probably saw it, it was the flickering on the screen that sometimes happens. Yeah. Okay, can't do much about that though. It just happens. Well, I've got it working quite nicely with the icon only task manager here. That exhibits some of the behaviour of Unity. I'm just downloading Solid X here to have a mess around with. There's Google Plus. By opening up the applications, yep, that's all quite nice. And uh, if I just go and minimise that, and if you hover over them, yeah, it shows the preview there. So that's a bit of tweaking you can do with it. Again, that's pretty good. It's pretty good behavior like uh, Unity has. One thing I haven't quite got right though. If you've got program maximized, you can see I've dropped the window bar at the top of the application. As default behavior in Ubuntu is you can drag down from the top and you unsnap it from being maximized. I can't do that because what I've got here with the yet another window controller. Close minimize and windowed mode there. It's close, but not quite. Okay, that's not too bad. I could almost live with that though. I do like the styling I've done with that. That's the ghost theme with, uh, let's have a look, because I can't remember it all. So you've got the widget style of oxygen, the obsidian coast for color scheme, icons I've changed to compass, which just changes the dolphin folder icons, fonts I've changed to Ubuntu, got the oxygen GTK theme, which takes across the obsidian colour scheme quite nicely. It's excellent that actually, it really does look good. And under workspace appearance you can see here I've got the ghost deco window decorations, the oxygen midnight meadow cursor theme, you can see I use that in Ubuntu anyway. Desktop got oxygen and just the default solid case bash screen. It's been pretty interesting seeing what some of the KDE specific applications look like here. For example, KDN Live different to what I normally use it like and Clementine <laughs> they do look quite nice but one downside I've really not managed to solve here is this the sound controller I'm either getting deafened or I can't hear anything <laughs> and I don't know what my video has been like recently I've got to try them on another system yet but I've just not been able to get it evened out correctly with anything in the audio setup Oh, I just I've struggled with this one. Definitely struggled with it. Let's go over to the mixer. There we go. I mean, what can I say? I've I've played around with it and I've tried. So overall, I've enjoyed my time here on Solid X. It's worked perfectly well for me. It's been quite a challenge customizing KDE. It's something I've never got as far as this before, and I do think it's quite usable the way I like it. But I probably will go back to Ubuntu 14.04. I've been messing around here with it in VirtualBox again, and I've managed to get the consistent menu colouring done now. So, ambience dark menus all around. Yes, <laughs> I had to cheat a little bit, and I've ripped off uh, someone else's themes. I think it was the Numix theme I ripped off here, just for the old GTK2 applications. Hey, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> but I've got it pretty close. Also done some uh, other messing around with transparency effects in on the darker themes. So I've got uh, the DeLorean Dark 3.10 theme, which I've tweaked. 
just open it up. So let's get another application open, you'll see why. There you go, we've got the partial transparency now on the application or the window title bars. So that was pretty good. Restored some of the effects I quite liked. Oh, and you can see where the colouring comes from. <laughs> hey, I liked it. Yeah, I'll give that another go. But if it annoys me, hey, maybe I'll come back to Solid K. But I'm going to keep with Solid K for a little bit longer. Maybe I'll do a couple more videos on it. There you go. See you all later.